Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. I'm gonna enter Echoing Light Mine and see what it's all about. Over here, I was hoping someone would come. Have you ever seen such things? Such violence? Such abominations? I cannot comprehend it. First the clan of Eventide, and now Barith. Uh, Barith. There is no other like him in all of Alabastra. His interest in other races, most notably those of the Blue Flesh, has yielded much understanding. But the Tuatha wish to exploit every trace of knowledge to their own ends, so the learned such as us are weapons to them. Thus they took Barith, wishing to extract his knowledge by any means. The beasts. Your kind call them Mergen, denizens of the sea and shore. They are violent, yes, and devious, but only out of self-preservation. The Tuatha have imprisoned them and turned their potential violent instincts into a barely controllable weapon of pure hate. Though it is part of winter's decay, I feel that it is tragic. It is unnatural for Fae, Seely or Unseely, to take prisoners so like mortals. Eventide. The clan of Eventide was all but returned to the Great Cycle by Tuatha soldiers. Most of our people were drawn behind the veil, and they were the fortunate ones. Now where are the others? Beyond the veil. No more slumbers in the Great Cycle. Gask and his soldiers cursed them with permanent rest. All gone but Bareth, Ordo, and me, that is. It was Bareth the Tuatha came for. They were led by a curious one named Cryamor. He coveted Barith's knowledge of enchantment, how he charmed the beasts of Alabastra. But it was not Barith himself that charmed the beasts. It was a pendant he wore that kept the Morgan from turning on him when he studied them. A wise Cryamor threat. He wishes to add mortal beasts to Godflow's ranks, an endless supply of living weapons. Until only the Alfar, the Almin, and the Varani remain to oppose him. Someone must stop them. If not Bareth, then you or me. The Mergen are dangerous enough now, but imagine if the Tuatha commanded their numbers. Okay, I'll get him back. I last saw Bareth as Cryamore's men dragged him deep into the mine. Walk with a light foot. Acting while unseen will offer your best chance of survival. And try to use the anger of the Mergen against our common enemy. Okay, Ordo. Ordo and I aided Bareth in his trials, procuring the creatures, preparing the chamber. But Ordo was a stubborn soul, proud. He departed Eventide before the Tuatha came. I only hope he is far from here, somewhere without bars and monsters. Alright, uh, Cryamore. He is but a soldier, an officer. Such a blunt and ruthless mind could never appreciate Barth's work. Its subtlety. Its sublimity. Okay, and where is Barth? Cryamore keeps him nearby. If you can, release the Morgan prisoners. Their rage and hate will coalesce on their persecutors, not Barth. Farewell. Okay. We have a way forward. Uh, I should probably release her, right? It's a new door type. We haven't seen any Prismere door yet. Oh, it's a reagent. I thought it was a uh, skeleton. Alright. Just lay for the harvest. 
Alright, Barrett appears a bit perished while trying to help the Mergen captives. The charm now spoke of isn't on his body. Perhaps I can find it nearby. So I should have hit that lever during combat, or I guess if I would have snuck in here, I could have turned or opened up the lever. They would have fought each other. They're screwed. The dustling must be slain. <laughs> And that meant for the stealthy approach. There we go. That's a lot more satisfying. Now if I had the daggers and I could get those uh, cool stealth takedowns, maybe. I mean, this stealth approach would be a little more satisfying. But for now, this will do. Alright, Mergen Charm. A special charm worn by Barrett to keep the Mergen at bay. I wonder if I have to equip it or if I can just keep it on my person. Get chopping. Or smashing. That's okay. I have no qualms with killing Mergen, so. No harm done. There is such an end. Do you hear me? He was a kind spirit. You are a friend to Eventide, even if few of its folk remain. Take this key. It will unlock hidden treasures of our clan. Any you find will be open to you now. Thank you, mortal. Now go. Fantastic. I know where one of those is at. Alright, 
that's what y'all get for respawning. Alright, so the chest is out here to the left. Right here. Argent. A fey buckler with azurite silver alloy trim. Azurite silver alloy is impossible. My experts plan to question the fey craftsman closely when he next returns in humanoid form. I like, I like that how blunt that statement is. It's like, that's impossible. Sometimes it's all the explanation you need in a fantasy game. Or a fantasy setting. In general. There's a time when I had too many lockpicks, and then I got extremely careless with, uh... Is it above me? It must be back. Yeah, it's back here. Juggernaut Chaucis. Adapted for smaller frames uh, from captured Yoten enchanted armor. Ooh, plus 20% physical damage. So this with that other pe chess piece that I found. It's pretty good. The chess piece that gives you all that healing and health regen. The healing per hit. How do I get down there? Oh, there's a path. Okay, from the area that we jumped down from. <laughs> that first hammer swing missed. Alright, so far so good. to it. Not even a threat. Let's try that again. <laughs> that worked. Really thought it was gonna... I messed up the pattern again. Okay, where is the 
this. Oh, here it is. I almost got my spell off. They interrupted it at the last second and then huh, still cost me my my mana. Guy down here, just chilling by himself. There's two of them. He's not by himself. Where does this path take me? Is this Gask? It is. Swatha, despite being immortal, aren't very good at fighting. You would think they live forever. They'd be a lot better at a lot of the things that they do, but maybe they got complacent because they're immortal. See so you know what they say complacency kills. was a little anticlimactic. But most of the fights in this game, after doing the DLC first, are a little anticlimactic. I kind of wish I would have saved the DLC for last. You're back. I was keeping an eye on you from a safe distance to see if you would keep your promise. I... I am amazed. I dared not speak of it, but there are prophecies of a mortal who would herald our kind's passing. While the defeat of Gask will count as a victory against the madness of Gadflow, I wonder if it is a harbinger of darker nights ahead. Prophecies aside, you have done as I asked, and we, the clan of Ashmore, recognize you. Farewell. Okay, well, I guess I only get experience for that quest, which I don't need. Also, it's where they have siege towers back here. And that they can float. I guess that makes it easier to move, because usually siege equipment would be uh, built where the siege was taking place at, because it was just, it was logistically extremely difficult to move. So, like siege towers, catapults, especially trebuchets, since they usually didn't have mobility. They'd be built at the location of the siege around the 
siege fortress castle whatever it was and uh all right come on there we go he's trying to move it to the siege which just take up way too much time our girl's luxurious legwear oh those are the same bonuses i think this is from uh so that chess piece I found last episode, where I was like, I don't remember this set. I think it's a Universalist set. So all the name, the names of each piece of equipment is going to be different, but it gives you a plus one to all of your like sorcery might and um, finesse skill trees. So if you wanted to go the Universalist route, well, there you go. There's a set of armor for that. I guess we're pushing to the final. Yeah, we're pushing to the final area. Well, I guess second to last area. Does it still bail itself? I'm assuming bail is just going to be a dungeon, not like a full blown. This assault wore off right as he hit me. doing that thinking it's locked and not dispelled I just hit uh, auto attempt or force Frost Soldier. Okay. I thought it was uh, the one of the eldest. Alarain. I think that was her name. Agath will not be far behind you. Neither of us saw any sign of Aelin Shear or Ventrinio. A scout on the ridge above saw the two Arthur mounting for a counterattack. You should hear what he has to say before we move on. If you'd rather not wait, talk with Agarth. Time is of the essence. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hey, what are we waiting for? Agarth. If he tells you he's ready, then my people are as well. Of course, if you wish to proceed with caution, the scout on the ridge will know what we're up against. 
Some extra information never hurt anybody. Good to see you here. Ready? Uh, not yet. Let's talk to the scout. Though I'm sure I don't have to really worry about what's up ahead. Where's the scout at? Just set up on the ridge, but that could. Does it mean anything to me? Oh, I've never killed a mortals listen well to advice in this tale of atrocities that we will tell horror awaits the fools who fell and languish behind arcane veil that's great this is gonna tell Garth I'm ready I don't know where that scout's at I don't see any Any scouts on the map? Good to see you here. Ready? Uh, I'm ready if you are. I am. But there hasn't been any sign of Aelin Shear or Ventrinio. Damn it all. I knew we couldn't trust her. I think we win this without her. You're right. At least now I don't need to worry about when she's going to betray us. Just how she already has. Right now, we just need to get through the House of Vengeance and kill the Kerr. Who is the Kerr? He's the closest thing Vengeance has to a leader anymore. A face so consumed with hatred that he's little more than a beast. If you're going to get into Bale, the Kerr has to die. All right, uh, let's go. We'll go as far as we can. Whatever is happening in Bale needs to be stopped as quickly as possible. Listen, you're more powerful than I ever was. If anyone can stop this, it's you. When you kill the Kerr, you go into Bale and stop Gadflow. If we get separated, I'll keep fighting to keep an escape route open for you. Now go! Stay on guard. Sounds easy enough. If they go that way, I'm gonna go up this way and uh, get this lore stone up here. That's right here. Of own they sung, but now a god proclaimed enchanting song. They worship on their earthen sod and bow their heads and pray and nod. Another name to bear their wrong. Mortal in my path. <laughs> Of warlike engines roar and quake through heaven's path, 
In Gadflow's name, they battle more. And then, despite the peace of yore, will murder neighbors in their wrath. This chest has to be... Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's out of this wall and I'm standing beside. Oopsies. There we go. actually putting in some damage. That's the most damage I've seen NPCs do to a uh, to any enemy. They left you helpless and without hope among the barren plains or searching for food on mountain slope and finding only gallows rope. And then you thank them for your pains. What's going on over here? junk lying around in this area. The sun is to the forest, Tiernock is to the Fey of Winter. Some embraced this new god, this break from the great cycle. Others hid in the darkest of places. Gadflow spoke of Tiernock, and the Prismere emanated its power. It is a source of magic and hatred. It no longer slumbers beneath Amethyn. The unbroken horizon of the winter is now the fiery haze of destruction. Well, thank you. Didn't do so bad yourself. do before we head into the House of Vengeance itself. Hey, Aegon's Greaves! Last piece of the set. I was hoping we'd find that before we enter this next area. The Mystic Chaucis. Energies are channeled from the seed of the emotions to power the violent majesty of its enchantments. Not that great. Yeah. 
can't access that troll. And him through the uh, wall. So I can't access him, it's just gonna take a while to. great about it, but... There we go. <laughs> it's one of the loot. I really have no need for it at this point. Mm. Well, that loot must be below. There's a chest down there I missed. This feels like a way that we're going to have to go. Judgment only does 93 damage. <laughs> I must be a scepter, not a uh, staff. So named for its ability to shock the unjust, the staff pulses with energy throughout the entire lane. A uh, chance to stun and stun duration. If they weren't so mana hungry, I'd definitely take it for a spin. What is a stave? Alright, so we unlocked all the fast travel points that I get. Oh, did I miss the lore stone up there? That's okay, because we have a fast travel point up there. I'm gonna go grab that chest down here that I missed. Oops, I have the wrong things equipped.
ore stone was up here, I believe. Nope, oh, selected the wrong one. Oh, darn it. I don't have exit. Okay. Well, shoot. Back to the House of Vengeance, and we'll backtrack to get that last lower stone. I've got this under control. So these two sides are yours to choose, and the evils they put out. One to kill you without a ruse. One you're merely tools for their use. Either way, a foolhardy seat. Is that at the last? That's probably one in uh, that dungeon over there. Hand rain. Yeah, there are levers near these guys. Um, was, oh, here it is. Oh. That's weird. <laughs> He's doing some weird stuff, man. the episode here. Off camera, I'm going to go back. We're going to equip Aegon set. And then in the next episode, we'll probably clear out Prismere Basin and Can Rain. Maybe House of Vengeance, depending on how fast these other two dungeons go. And then we're in the final, the final, final, final stretch after that. Because we're currently in the final, final stretch. Being in uh, Amara here. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.